If you're a senior and maybe you have some trouble with dexterity or mobility, this video may be just what you're looking for. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, and I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. In the video description below, you'll find a link to a resource guide that you can download and keep for future reference. Let's get started. Voice control was first introduced in iOS 13, allowing users to navigate and interact with their iPhone and iPad using voice commands. To use this function, you'll need to open the Settings app and then scroll down until you come to Accessibility, tap on Accessibility, and then scroll until you see Voice Control. Tap on Voice Control, and then if you've never set this up before, the screen is going to look a little bit different than it does here because I already have Voice Control set up. It's going to look something like this. You'll tap on Set Up Voice Control and then follow the on-screen commands. With Voice Control enabled, you'll see a blue microphone in the upper left corner of your device. You won't need to invoke Siri or use any other kind of wake word to navigate the iPhone or iPad. Simple commands like open mail, go home. You will need to learn specific commands for control, which can take some time. For example, selecting an item in the Settings app requires saying Tap General rather than Select or Choose. Let me go ahead and give you some examples of how you can easily use voice control. Open Control Center. Go Home. Open Safari. Go home. Open settings. Tap general. Tap software update. Go back. Go back. Go home. Swipe down. Voice control is a powerful tool and can do almost anything that you can do with physical access. There are many voice control commands and you can see them all by going to settings, scrolling down to accessibility, then tapping on voice control, and then customize commands and you'll find a list of all of the commands that you can use with voice control. Or you can just say, show commands. And a list of all of the commands will come up as long as you have voice control turned on. There are several customization settings that you can use to make your life easier. For example, you can create a home address option that will enter your home address whenever the phrase is spoken. This is very useful when filling out forms. And here's how you create that. You'll tap on create new command. And then you'll enter the phrase. And in this case, we're going to enter home address. And now you'll go ahead and you'll tap on action. And then you'll tap on insert text. And now you'll enter the home address that you want to use. When you're finished, you'll hit the backspace in the upper left corner. You'll hit the backspace in the upper left hand corner again. And now let me show you how to use this in the notes app. Open notes. Tap new note. home address. And there you have it. That's how simple it is to use the voice control 
with your own customization. People who can control their iPhones and iPads with their hands may find this feature difficult to use. Still, it is incredibly useful for those who have limited dexterity or mobility. Let me know in the comments section if you find this feature useful or tedious. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.